In the last lesson, we talked about the addition property of equality. This time, we'll talk about the multiplication property of equality. Also, we'll solve a problem like uh, minus x equals a single number. And finally, we'll solve an equation using both the multiplication and addition properties of equality. So first, we better state what the multiplication property of equality is. And it's stated in symbols as follows, that if you have a equals to b, and you have c, which is not equal to 0, and you multiply a times c, a times c, that will be equal to b times c. And it makes sense, but how does that apply to what we're doing in this lesson? Notice we have x divided by negative 3 equals 5. x over negative 3 is the same as negative 1 third times x. What is the multiplicative inverse of negative 1 third? Well, that's just the reciprocal or negative 3. Now, if we multiply both sides of the equation x divided by negative 3, or x over negative 3, equals 5. If we multiply both sides by the multiplicative inverse, that negative 3, what will happen is we'll end up with 1x. And that'll be our goal on these problems when we're using the multiplicative or the multiplication property of equality. We want to end up with just 1x. And so, as we stated, negative 3 times x over negative 3, we just end up with 1x. And that's what's on the left side of the equal sign. Notice we multiply both sides by the negative 3. And on the right side, we get negative 15. And as you know, I believe, well, 1 times x is equal to x, and so we just have then x equals negative 15. Now, is this a truly a solution to our problem? Well, let's just plug in. Negative 15 divided by negative 3 is indeed 5. So x equals negative 15. Negative 15 was a solution. The next problem, we have negative 20 equals negative 4y. And we've talked about the multiplication property of equality. But if you think about division, which is just the uh, multiplicative inverse, if you divide by something, it's the same thing as multiplying by its multiplicative inverse. And so in this case, we can divide both sides by negative 4. We're actually using the multiplication property of equality, just stated in a different way. And we're doing this because we'd like to just get a single 1y in this case all by itself on one side of the equal sign. Negative 20 divided by negative 4 is a positive 5. And sure enough, we get 1y on the right-hand side of the equal sign. And so 5 equals, and 1 times y again is just y. And so it looks like our solution is 5. And sure enough, if we put in 5 in place of y, negative 4 times 5 is negative 20. The next problem involves a fraction being multiplied times our variable. But these, we want to accomplish the same thing that we have in the past. We want to try and get just a 1x on one side of the equal sign. And we can do that by multiplying by the, uh, the a multiplicative inverse of 2 thirds, which is just the reciprocal of 2 thirds, which is 3 halves. So we'll multiply the left side by 3 halves, and at the same time, we need to multiply the right side of the equal sign by 3 halves. The 3 halves times 2 thirds does give us the 1x, which we're after. And so we will have uh, just uh, 1x 
on the left side of the equal sign and on the right side of the equal sign let's see we can uh, cancel out the 2 divide 2 into the 18 and we get 9 and 3 times 9 is 27 and once again 1 times x is just x x equals 27 so the solution is 27 and now we have the problem where we have a negative x equals a number, single number, negative 4. And how do you solve this type of problem? Well, remember that negative x is really the same thing as negative 1 times x. So we'll write it as negative 1 times x equals negative 4. We've just rewritten the negative x as negative 1 times x. So now we have negative 1 times x equals negative 4. What is the multiplicative inverse of negative 1? Well, negative 1 is because negative 1 times negative 1 gives us a positive 1. And that's our goal. We want just 1x. So we'll multiply negative 1 times the left side of the equality. So negative 1 times the negative 1 times x that was already there. And what we do to one side of the equal sign, we need to do the same exact thing to the other side. So we'll multiply the right side of the equal sign by the same negative 1. So negative 1 and then times the negative 4 that was there. And doing this, as we stated earlier, negative 1 times negative 1 does give us the positive 1 x that we wanted. And so we have 1 times x equals, and negative 4 times a negative 1 is positive 4, and we end up with x equals that was kind of a long way to do that problem. Just remember, multiply both sides by negative 1. Finally, our last problem that we're going to look at has a multiplication and it has an addition, actually a subtraction. And to solve this, we want to isolate and first get the variable by itself. We would like to just have the negative 2x all by itself on one side of the equal sign. And so to do that, we need to use the addition property of equality. And uh, what will we add then to both sides of this equality so that the minus 5 will disappear? Well, we need to add plus 5. So we'll add plus 5 because minus 5 plus 5 will cancel out on the right side. And since we, using the addition property of equality, if we add on one side of the equal sign, we need to do the same thing on the other. And so to that 7, we will add 5, the same number we added on the other side of the equal sign. So 7 plus 5. And then to simplify both sides, we have a minus 5 plus 5. Well, that cancels out, so we're left with nothing but a negative 2x. And we have uh, come a long way to isolating our variable. And 7 plus 5 is 12. So now we have negative 2x equals 12. Now we can use the mul multiplication property of equality in the form of a division. We want to have just a single 1x and we have negative 2x now so we'll divide by negative 2 both sides of the equality by negative 2 and negative 2 divided by negative 2 is once again 1x and we don't need to write 1x every time. We can just write x. And 12 divided by negative 2 is negative 6. And that's all we have time for this time. See ya.